this right because I'm like, I'm here, I'm gonna be laughing. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try to answer all of them very quickly. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, okay, so first, what does coming out mean for an LGBT person? Okay. Um, I think coming out for an LGBT person um, is a very significant event and has a lot of meaning in that it's um, a defining moment for them a lot of times. Um, and as Nikki, one of our participants' students this evening, said, um, what they don't tell you at first is um, when you first come out that you actually come out more times after that. So, but that first time of coming out is really a significant um, sort of identifying piece, and I think that's where the meaning lies. Um, let's see. Second question: Why is National Coming Out Day important? Um, National Coming Out Day is very important um, for its history, um, for the meaning behind it. Um, a lot of times when we show up in solidarity behind something, um, when we come together as a community, um, that it makes us stronger and makes us more willing to talk about ourselves and our truth and our journey. Um, and especially for what's termed a concealable identity, um, sexual orientation being a concealable identity because someone can't really know it unless you reveal it about yourself, um, I think it's even um, can even be more significant because it's that time, it's that place, it's that space, that day um, that says, hey, this is the time for me and us to come out, and this is a significant part of our lives as a community. So, let's see. Um, I already answered that. Um, and let's see, question number four, why is coming out at Augsburg important? I think coming out at Augsburg is very important because we're really creating, um, I mean, if you look at the institution as a fabric, and people here as sort of a fabric, um, we're really creating little by little a different type of fabric. Um, because every person that feels like they could be comfortable with our identity, comfortable with coming out, and comfortable with being honest about themselves and their experience, their lives, their stories, um, every time one person feels like they can do that, they're able to show a lot of light, a lot of guidance, and a sort of a lot of truth um, to others and then lead them in order to be able to share their experience and that sort of, it's just a ripple effect. Um, and so I think um, here at Augsburg, we're sort of creating an institution that's like that, um, that's more welcoming, that's more affirming to LGBT people. Um, and I think that's why it's important at Augsburg. Yeah. Cool. That's all I have. Thanks. Thank you, Quinn. shows that everybody's accepted, no matter, who, no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, um, no matter where you come from, um, you are somebody, and you can have a voice, and uh, I think that's all I have to say. I hope, I, I would add that I hope that people remember their history, and that they, they keep it in mind, that they identify with the thousands and thousands and thousands of GLBT people that have gone before them and will come after them. GLBT people living today, 2007, are in a, a wonderful, excellent place. They're living on a cusp of history when everything is changing. And, you know, from what I know of history, it may not always stay good. GLBT people. It may not improve like it has been the last few years. It may be, it may again become a time of oppression and a time of fear. But if we connect with our history, with our GLBT history, if we identify with the GLBT people that died in the concentration camps, if we identify with the GLBT people that were beaten to death in the 50s and driven out of their homes, if we identify with the Mollies in 17th century England, and if we identify with the um, Society of Heliogabulus in Paris, and, and with the, uh, the Russian composers and their little cycle around the turn of the 20th century Russia, you know, um, we will become a braver and a stronger people. One of the things that helped the Jewish people to survive the concentration camp their sense of history and tradition.
And so I would hope the other thing that I would add to all of this thing is that that's what GOBT people need to have. They need to know also. They need to know our history and our tradition so that whether the times be good or bad, we will have something to fall back on within ourselves.